Hoodies staple in every wardrobe. Uh, so many different price points, so many different variants, so many different ways to style it. But more importantly, it's my fallback piece for whenever I'm too lazy to come up with a coherent fit. I kind of just throw it on and then fill in the blanks, as does everyone. Everyone does that. But see, today's not like other days. Uh, today we're gonna try. Uh, uh, thank you. Thank you, everybody. Thank you, everybody. Thank you, everybody. Yeah. And then I dragged three of my friends with me so that there's a little something for everyone here. We got Jose, who's uh, teaching men's fashion, small channel on YouTube. Small. Just a small. He's kind of into menswear or like that luxury athletic side of things. We got Galax who's uh, take a more street luxury angle on things. And then we got Alex, who's wilding on the avant-garde side of fashion. Uh, I don't think I have the stats to equip. But... And then there's me, and I have no words for myself. You take it how you want it, it is what it is. And since hoodies have such a diverse style, I made everyone style two fits, just in case one of them sucks and also to showcase their range and so that you guys can get more out of this. So before we get started, I wanna ask one compelling question, right? I put some thought into this. So if I get my hoodie, right? And then I get a pair of scissors and then I amputate the hood. Is it still a hoodie? Cause there's no, is it a crew neck? Or is it a E? Cause I took away the hood. Is this argument too far fetched? This video is sponsored by Farfetch. Farfetch is one of the best ways to online shop for new and previous seasons because they aren't necessarily the ones getting the things directly from these companies. They kind of work as the middleman to a bunch of mom and shop boutiques online. Um, in other words, they are supporting local businesses. Let's go. Thank you, Farfetch. Thank you. But because of this format, they get the inside on certain stuff before it goes on sale for like the main sites for these things. And also you might be finding certain season stuff on sale sale because of the specific boutique that it's middlemanning for. So we support local businesses. Let's go. We also partner with Stadium Goods. We all know Stadium Goods. They got the goods. So if you're into sneakers like that, just another way to find a competitive price on the volatile resale market. It's all stonks, baby. And if you want to save some stonks, you can use my code FA10YT. You get 10% off your order. If you're a new member, FA10YT, I'm pretty sure it stands for Rugal Aesthetic. 10% off YouTube. The more you know. Anyways, thank you to Farfetch for sponsoring today's video. The main pieces in this first fit are all from Farfetch. So you can go ahead and check them out. So hoodies, I just want to have fun because it's so easy to chill out, you know? So I wore hoodies all quarantine. So for the first fit, I was inspired to do the thing that may be completely opposite of quarantine, which is live shows and raves. So the hoodie in question is from Duo LTD or Duo Limited it has this cool two layer zippered system that just reminds me of all the super extra nonsensical crap that would go into making rape outfits like this. Drippy, no slippy. Come on, that's like a prof that's a proverb somewhere. Also, the elastic waistband is pretty tight on this, so you can do cool stuff like this to just change up the proportions, especially with a pair of like mid to high rise pants, which I'm about to get into. Also, this is not exclusive to this hoodie. You can kind of just do this trick with any hoodie that has a tight band. So for my pants, there are these mid rise elite side panel trousers that just flow super well. This little modular part right here, this kind of just reminds me of that industrial feel of a warehouse rave, you know, just makeshift janky futurism right here baby it's off the dome and the shoes are just a pair of converse which i would usually wear to a show anyways so since the hoodie has all these cool details from the hardware to the graphics even i have to spice it up with the rest of the fit as well but not overdo the mix you know the beanie is just this regular fisherman's beanie from wherever that i put a pin on from my boy at mxdvs and the earwing which i'm sure is the main piece in question i've been eyeing this for over a year <laughs> And I got it on Farfetch from Ambush. And the necklace and bracelet are from Cooney Design by Mona Thomas, which I think fits the direction of this fit perfectly. Love her work. Everything besides the necklace and the bracelet I got on Farfetch as seen here. Bang, these are items. And yeah, this is just me wiling a hoodie. Definitely a bit out there, but if you're not having fun, why, why even try, right? But for the next fit, we got something chill, but I just want to showcase some, some cute little hoodie tricks that will make yours look better regardless of the price. 
So I have this super cheap merch hoodie that you can get from anywhere. The artist it comes from means a lot to me. So there's my incentive, but the actual blank of the hoodie, it's it's whatever, it's, it's merch. So some things I do to spice this up for free is I get a pair of scissors, and I cut the hood off. Now you cut down the middle of the neck area, this bit right here. And then, and then you kind of just rip it to make it look natural. You get this cool little split collar vibe. You can't undo it, but it is what it is. It looks more aged and worn in. Plus you get to contrast it with a shirt or accessories underneath, it's sick. I can also breathe better in the, in the spring. And with that waistband trick that I was talking about earlier, I kind of just fold it up to my stomach area a bit and bang, I layered it with a kind of a bigger shirt underneath. It's just this big Big ass hard rock vintage tee that I, I cut the hem on it so that it rolls up more details, more spice. It's all free. Go steal these tricks. It's please steal it. The pants are the Sanjeev collection two flared jeans with the embroidery and the shoes are Akron and Prestos. It's just a super chill fit. You can wear this anywhere. This guy could be at the club too. There's not much going on piece to piece, but it's all those free details that really make it dynamic. Also shows what you can really do with a hoodie, even though it's just some $20 blank from wherever. So that was me. Uh, I'm going to pass it to my friend Jose from Teaching Men's Fashion. Complete other side of the block. Again, just another small YouTuber, but you know, you got to give love to the little guys sometimes. So my boy Christian wanted me to compose two outfits and you already know I got to come through with the fire fits and he asked right on time. See, the hoodie that I'm wearing here, this is our new Essentials hoodie that comes with the built-in face mask. Yo, who is thinking of this stuff? But to spice it up for his channel, I know he likes streetwear, I wanted to come in a little bit dapper. See, for the first look, I'm trying to show you guys, like, yo, you can dress up hoodies. Like, they're not just casual, they're not just sleepwear. I threw it on with an overcoat, which looks super crispy. On top of that, I paired it with black jeans, which always look good. And then just some simple white sneakers that always work. But, boys, boys. But, I'm talking like it's my, my own video. But guys, guys, here's the thing. Hoodies look their best when they're worn in their environment, so we're not gonna neglect it. See, here, for the second fit, we paired it with our cashmere sweats. Yo, straight luxury, honestly. The fit, impeccable, super comfortable, and you can run errands in this all day long. You look good, you're comfortable. Bro, it just goes to show you. Something as simple as a hoodie, like this one from Essentials, yo, this is a must. And by the way, yo, we're dropping March 20th at 10 a.m. Eastern, which I think is today. You ain't gonna wanna miss that. But yeah, up next we got Galax, who's such a pretty guy. He doesn't even need to wear clothes, but he does anyways. It's not fair. Hello there guys, it's Joel here, aka Galax, and welcome to Christia's YouTube channel. Uh, I am styling, well, the same hoodie two different ways today. I feel really pressured to make some jokes, but I'm really not as funny as you, so I really don't want to try. This is my basic fit. This is my ring. These are my rings that I wear every day and my jewelry that I wear every day. So for this simple fit, which is just basically carpenter denim, a basic black hoodie and my beanie because I need a haircut. And I'm wearing my chunky high Chelsea boots. Then I'm going to grab my velvet padded bomber jacket. I'm obsessed with this piece at the moment. It's so big. It makes me feel like uh, I love to throw this over the top of a hoodie. It keeps me super cozy, especially in the cold weather that we're having right now. Oh yeah. And I have pro probably the biggest tote bag in the world, which is a Margiela piece. It's like a felt, but I feel like this really complements the whole exaggerated oversized silhouette of the whole look as well. I'm giving myself bank robber vibes. Put it in! Um, you're facing the wrong way, sir. Okay, so fit number two, we're gonna keep the same beanie and we are gonna take cargo pants from Sanji. I feel like the cargos make the outfit instantly more interesting and appealing. And I'm gonna grab my grails, my Nike Jordan pandas. What, what? Can, Christian, can you do like a, a gun sound? Like um, but yeah, I love them so much. They are, they're the only pair of Jordans I have and they fit with every single outfit that I own. And then we're gonna throw on my favorite overcoat. It's from a Korean brand called Dunst. And I just love the look. I feel so badass in this Death Eater, Voldemort kind of vibe, but good old little Prada bag. And that brings me to the end of my two hoodie outfits. Now I bet you didn't think the hoodie is an important part of these looks because it, it's central to both, you know? And it gives it that kind of flair coming out of the neck. So yeah, thank you for having me, Christian. Um, respect women. So we've got too much men on this channel. There's just way too many men. I just wanted to show some love to all the women out there. So I thought, hey, I'm gonna bring on the most badass woman I know to just 
really set the bar high. So the ladies, here are some superior and unrealistic fashion expectations, and you will not look as cool as her as my friend Alex. Hey guys, how's it going? Um, my name's Alex. I'm the chick who makes Christian's jewelry. So anyways, I'm gonna show you the fits that I've put together, starting off with fit number one. For the hoodie today, I'm gonna be wearing the Anami Knit hoodie by Chaz Jordan, uh, paired with the Adidas track pants, with the side cargo pockets, some Rick Owens dark shadow shoes. Pretty standard. Like, yeah, you can go out like this, but I like to level it up a little more. So I'm gonna show you how I do that. What's also gonna make our fit crazy are the latest chains. These are universal. You can literally use them as boot chains, mask chains, like necklaces, you name it, even AirPods they hold. So today we're gonna use them for the mask chains and for sunglasses. Absolute favorite way to wear a hoodie. I love putting a chain underneath it. And of course, I'm gonna be decked out in as much metal as possible. Have a new stud, have a new bracelet, a few rings. Here's the first look you get when everything's all attached. And then let's detach the sunglasses here. And now we can throw on the mask and face the public. So that's fit number one. The only thing I kind of have been consistent with in the last year is really wearing hoodies and how to style hoodies. It's pretty easy to put together. Like we have the 11 by BBS textured sweater with some thumb holes, which I love. Then we have the Rick Owens Memphis jeans. I think it would benefit if this doesn't look too bulky. It's a Andy black silk jacket, the weenie boots, just the back zips. And yeah, I think we can do a little better with this, but we're definitely going for textures um, for this look. Now it's time to add some face jewelry, some hand jewelry, and go from there. together here and yeah just have a good one and stay safe healthy and thank you thank you alex for setting the bar so high for both men and women that now i have to uh end the video thank you anyways uh here are the fits as you can see we got some bangers literally something everyone can find at least a little bit of inspo from you got some menswear some athleisure some modern streets some avant-garde and you know me who's straight from a 2000s playstation 2 game that's the best inspo you'll need. And thank you to all these guys. Go give them a follow. They're amazing. I'll leave their links in the description. And thank you to Farfetch for sponsoring this video. It's where I got all these main items in the first fit. Use my code FA10YT at checkout. You get 10% off your first order. Go buy yourself some gifts. Also, comment who you want me to do the next one with because there's so much potential here. I'm thinking of doing Jordan 1s on the next one. So I don't know. Everyone styles Jordan 1s. Let me know who the good ones are. Go tag this. Send this to your favorite guys, girls. It doesn't even matter. Style is style. I'll be in their DMs with the swiftness. And go follow me on Instagram at ChristianVY and Twitter at JK underscore Wiling for the hottest takes on the internet. And uh, new episodes of the podcast are always hidden. So go check it out in the description. You need to look at this show. Go tune in. Thank you for watching. Bye.